So in 2013, we created a um, vodcast program called Radio Chemistry that we introduced to all Year 12 chemistry students. Um, and this program was designed to alleviate some of the lecture-based material that we were using in 2013. A few of the teachers realised that they spent most of their time lecturing and all of the interesting chemical aspects were lost. So we weren't doing as many pracs, we weren't doing as many application tasks, and basically it was all just passive learning for the students. So radiochemistry was designed to um, flip that idea on its head. The students could do the passive learning um, at home where they had access to the program, which was a vodcast, um, they had access to the notes, and then when they come into class, they were pre-prepared for the task that we were going to do. So if it was an investigation on a titration, or it could have been using some instruments um, for analysis, but they were prepared to do the actual tasks rather than just sit there and listen to myself or, or my colleague discuss the material. The other things that we were able to introduce were a lot more exam-based questions. So the students had a lot of um, access to those. They were well prepared for the exam and the majority of students liked the approach. Uh, when we surveyed the students though, a few of them didn't like the approach, they thought it was the wrong time to do it, but overall it was uh, very positive and the students took, um, took it themselves, took it on board themselves to, uh, to get the work done in the allotted time. Our flip was a little bit different in that I completely flipped it. I didn't just do a, a, vodcast, uh, a podcast, I had screen capture technology um, videoing the interactive whiteboard while I was writing and talking. 537 joules is equal to divide by 1000, 0537, divided by the number of moles, which in this case was 0 0.0301, and then we can work out the delta H. Now that gives us a value of 17.8 kilojoules per mole. Now the one last step, and a step that students sometimes miss, is before we finish this off, let's just double check. 17.8 kilojoules, the temperature dropped, so that means it's endothermic. So I like to put the positive there to show them that I know that the enthalpy is going to be positive, and my answer is 17.8 kilojoules per mole, expressed to the right number of significant figures. The other things that we could start to introduce were picture-in-picture -picture videos. Um, so the students had, could watch a video, they could hear the, the voice, and then if I needed to stop it and discuss anything, we could talk over the top. So we tried to really do a high-end vodcast, um, and I knew that the better quality I could give the students, the more they were likely to take it on board. Um, we introduced things like uh, jazz chats, which was a section to try and keep the students interested. We did a few little who am I's as well to try and keep the program flowing. The sort of problems that we encountered with that approach was the length of those vodcasts. Quite a few of them were getting up towards the hour mark and the students found that um, after about 30 minutes, their ability to keep watching a video started to wane, especially about chemistry. So in the future, we'll be looking to try and reduce those, um, the lengths of those videos, keeping it interesting and really to the point.